Welcome back to fans, Lazy Gamer here. So, this is something you should learn sooner rather than later to make mapping much simpler for you. When you are making multiple of the same thing, you do not have to create it over and over. You can select and then copy paste it wherever you want. And then if you like a thing so much you want to use it in a different map later, you can make it a prefabricated object or prefab for use at a later date. So let's get started. So let's say for instance that I made this hugely advanced and uh, totally rad column here. And uh, it took me hours and hours to do. O obviously, it didn't in this case, but let's pretend, shall we? And uh, I wanted a row of them going this way. Let's uh, make it easier to show. Uh, let's say with this space between them, this way. So I had to make it each and every time for there and there and there and there. Hell no. Instead I, in this case, since this is the void in there, I need to go into line depth mode for this. Select all the lines. And then I press control C. That is control C for control copy. I have now copied all those lines. And I said I wanted it here as well. Uh, pasting is sort of where you have your pointer. So try and hit. And it will be the center of this copied thing. So if I have my point to there and press control V for control paste for some reason it's not P but it's closer to C so I guess that's the reason and wow there it is now you see it has a strange border around it this is so you can easily move it around without it interfering with uh, anything around it. I have to uh, lower the grid a bit to get it where it was. If I again press C it will be back where it is. Now let's have a look how let's see how this will look. Uh, that's a bit close isn't it? Let's move it one more uh, ahead. So let's in light of mode select them all again. Now I could just move them as is, but in this case, if this was very complicated, it could interfere with things around it. If we press E, we will get this strange border thing again. And you might have to play with your um, grid size again to move it exactly where you want it. Then see again to uh, unselect everything. Now it looks a bit better. Um, I believe when you usually move things, the texture placement will shift. But if you are in, if you are in uh, the, in this mode, it will stay as is. It will not shift when you move them. We can easily check that. 
by deselecting, selecting it all and just move it like so. Actually it didn't, so maybe this is a new thing with um, Ultimate Doom. It used to be that way anyway. Anyway, with copy and paste we can just... We have copied it already, so we can just continue pasting it. I, I could paste it here, but then it will interfere with this. Uh, you will note that when it is in this mode, it does not interfere with this line. But as soon as I deselect this, it will be connected with this line. That will be something you need to be aware of. The three columns are fine, I guess. And we can select it all, copy it, and then move it, uh, paste it over here. That's fine. But I talked about prefabs, didn't I? So let's use this movement to talk about this. Here we have insert prefab and I do have some um, in my prefab folder somewhere. I'm not 100% there we are. I have a few prefabs but I want put them in here now because I'm going to show you how to make one. So let's use this column again as an example. It is fairly simple. Select what you want to use as a prefab, like so. And then we go to prefabs, create from selection. I am going to put it in my prefabs folder as a, as a example. I, I can't have far, faster than this, just so you know. Um, press save. Now to uh, get a prefab, of course, you can just click there or go to prefabs again and insert prefab from file or control control P. So we will get our column example open and it is in here. Once again, we might have to play with um, grid size to make it work as you want. You can then copy and paste that as needed. That wasn't exactly Correct. Up there. Makes sense to me. And we have our columns on both sides. Now you can copy and paste things inside when they are clickable or whole rooms if you want to out in the grid uh, copy paste and uh, insert and prefabs work in different uh, pretty much the same thing it is a copy and paste that you found find as a file rather than something inside your map. 
However, this was made in a room that was 128 tall. So if you copy this into a room that is 256 tall, for instance, in, in this case it would will not be that different. It, it will just uh, be taller. But make a note of that because some things I made some prefab um, furniture, for instance. Uh, so, which are made in a room of a specific size and height, and it has the floor of zero as a um, base. So, if you make a room where the floor is 50 high, for instance, that will uh, require some uh, alterations to the prefab and the copy paste if you're copying it from a room at zero and to a room which is higher up just have that in mind when you do this so this has been your host showing you how to copy paste and use prefabs Bye, I guess. <laughs> See you guys later.